All right, welcome back to another vlog. Um, massive thanks to all the support on the um, Riding Up Baldwin Street video. It's doing super, super well. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Probably one of the best pieces of content I've ever made on the channel. So definitely go and check that out. So pretty much after the Dunedin, I got straight on a flight in the morning and we flew to Nelson. I went for a train ride yesterday with Keegan. Um, he's off on the TT bike today. I'm currently at a meeting point to go for a five hour ride with Ari and Finn Fisher Black. So it's gonna be interesting. Ari told me to pack as many carbs as possible. So I've got three hours LCM bars, I've got a Miss Higgins chocolate fudge, I've got a lolly cake and like a pack of lollies and a banana to go for 140k so we should be good. It's a pretty mint day here in Nelson, I think it's currently sitting around 24 degrees but I think the high is meant to get up to like 29.30 so it's going to be a hot day. We go Ari. Got a bit of a uh, pure gel wrapper. Saving the day. Saving the day. Where what? See if pros know how to change punctures. Yeah, Finn's pro puncture replacer. Second time the tire's been off in the last 60 minutes. Can you see the gel? Oh, maybe. Oh, I'll probably see it when we pump it up, I guess. <laughs> Do you want to clip it? No, use this one there. It's got way bit No. Do you not see how here? much longer it took there? No, oh, this one's tiny, man. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. Yeah, it's about the size of how you use it. <laughs> One hour, four minutes, and I've done 34k. Oh, 30, sorry, 32k. Long way to go. Not running a pie today. A bit of panini. Cheeky panini. I got some chicken salad, semi. And what are you running, Finn? Big fizz. Got a cheeky wee uh, apple turnover. Watch your bass. Classic. Classic. 70k. How many How many meters of climbing have we done? Bang on about a thousand, I think. Yeah. Oh, and I've already bonked. Mate, the the salt on. Yeah, run the salt on the kit already. 70k in. Two and a half hours. Not gonna be a good ride home, I think. I'm gonna pick it now. Downhill home. Yeah, downhill, except for all the climbs. Look, they keep telling them. <laughs> what are you looking for? Eels. Eels? Yeah, man eating eels. Man eating eels. Wow, this is a pretty sick place. Mate, all you've got is ducks. Normally the eels are having a bite of the ducks. I've done that's probably the hardest ride that I've done since I kind of like stopped riding after South in like a year or two year basically a year 18 months ago we ended up doing I'll just open my Strava doing 142.4 kilometers 1800 meters of climbing which that's a big day of climbing for me I like usually when I do a big ride like that I'd probably end up doing maybe 900 meters of climbing because I avoid the hills like a plague um, four hour basically um, five hours four hours 56 minutes average 182 watts i normalized 223 watts i believe average speed 29 three and a half thousand um, calories burnt so not a bad day on the old cannondale rig all right all right welcome back to the third day in nelson we're heading off for an easy train ride um finn did six hours yesterday 
and I did five and a half. I think it's the longest ride I've done since I um, crashed out of Southland almost a year and a half ago. So obviously it's been a pretty exciting year for you. Um, you and George have jumped ship to the UAE, so can you just tell the viewers a little bit about that and what your like, season has coming up? Yeah, no, it's a uh, bit, bit of a big move actually to UAE. It's a uh, big change compared to the old team, but still very much at the front of the field, which is uh, yeah, really good for me and George. And uh, yeah, super excited to kind of get into my first proper year like we had last, or I had the last six months in the team, but it was kind of just getting used to it and kind of finding my feet like where we are. And, now this year I think we can really like take some steps forward. And then obviously um, race season you were kind of going for like the, the week long races and like what what have you got? You flooded Girona in what, uh, just under a month? Yeah, just uh, like three weeks ago actually. So uh, yeah, my uh, season starts in a month in uh, Ardesh and then straight into Paranese after that. And then basically I'll focus on kind of week long tours, kind of get some TTs in there where I can and uh, kind of help out with the team some big names in the team so we'll run a lot from them and uh, kind of see what I can do where I can and uh, yeah. So we're just going to head out for a little bit of a ride, we're going to do a bit of like a, a descent video so what's the hill that we're about to go and ride up? Miles. So how long is that? It's like uh, seven or eight minutes down yeah. descent so oh, yeah, sweet. pretty, pretty, nice pretty decent. It's got, got yeah. some decent corners in it and stuff. Yeah it's, an, it's got a nice flow to it. Yeah, nice, sweet. So nice we'll, surface. So. We'll have a go on that and then basically we're just going to get some some tips from Finn at the end of the video for more, more of the younger viewers just kind of um, focus on descending because it is quite an important part of the race. Obviously you'll be doing a lot of races where the yeah. descend you'll be going just as hard down the descend as you would be going up the hill. Yeah a oh, massive part of it and I didn't really realise until I went over to Europe like my first time as a junior and it's kind of like yeah Maybe I can climb with the front group, but I can't descend with the front group, and that was kind of the biggest like kind of shock in terms of racing and just kind of being in the bunch. When you're descending, maybe on your own, it's a bit easier, but when you've got 100, 150 guys around you, it's 10 times harder, so it's kind of good to get those basics down. Right, Finn, so we've just come down the Wonga Moors. Obviously, everyone just saw the GoPro footage. We obviously weren't pinning it. We had to stay the left-hand side of the road, but everyone can kind of see, like, the what you were going for, like, with the skills. So, if you had, like, I don't know, three different tips that you could give the viewers on descending, what have you got for us? Yeah, I reckon, I think the main one for me, like, when I was kind of trying to perfect it, obviously, I'm not perfect, but uh, 
I think the best one is just to kind of stay smooth. I think like smooth is fast, so uh, just try and like relax. Never like tense up because if you're tense in any situation, it's just gonna, you know, it cause you to. It's not fast, you know, being tense on a descent. So better to be smooth. Pick your lines. Kind of try and like, uh, yeah, take it easy almost, and you'll find it's faster. Um, the more technical side would be kind of focus on where your like uh, center of gravity is. So like, I try and really plant all my uh, weight down on my on the outside foot, and then kind of look towards like the uh, where you want to go. If you look towards where you're going to go, then most likely you're going to go there. And uh, yeah, just try and focus on where your weight is on the bike. Don't try and make it unbalanced in any way. Just try and uh, yeah, keep it all in line. If you want to, if you really want to turn in a specific direction, you uh, turn with the bike and not your not your weight. So just try and keep your weight really centered, and then uh, turn the bike. You often find uh, the bike will go where you want it to go. Do you think? Obviously, since going pro, like when you were back in New Zealand, probably the bikes you were riding are a bit like mine with the rim brakes. Since you've gone pro, you've been on discs the whole time, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that that, like, when you're obviously on alpine descents, 20k long, massive switch bends, do you think that that helps you get down them a little bit quicker? Oh, uh, I wouldn't say it makes you quicker, but it definitely gave me confidence. Yeah. Like, just to know that you can stop that little bit quicker is a little bit more easy for the mind, and and like I said, uh, it's smooth as fast it's kind of like if you're relaxed I find I go so much faster and with disc brakes it's kind of just yeah in my mind I think yeah I can stop quicker if something happens and uh, I mean rim brakes yeah you never slam on the brakes fully yeah. when you're descending fast so it doesn't really matter between the two yeah, if you're cool. going for a fast descent but. so yeah well thank you for your time anyway and we'll yeah, see you no at nationals worries. in two weeks yeah okay.